when you focus on the breath, try to do it in a way that's refreshing. Don't make the meditation a chore. You want it to be something that the mind likes to do, because you want the mind to come to the present moment with a sense of well-being at any time. Not just while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. Because the mind is, has a tendency to go running out after things outside. And then it's mind, it's not only does the mind go running out, the mouth runs a lot too. So to keep some control over these things, we start feeling frustrated, which is why you need to counteract that sense of frustration. You can't go flowing out the way you did before. Well, find something really good inside that's really attractive. So breathe in a way that feels good. Breathe in a way that feels energizing when you're tired, in a way that feels calming when you're feeling too wired. Try to find a breath that's just right for right now. And then as the needs of the body change, as the needs of the mind change, you'll have to change the breathing too. Look, try to keep on top of that. Learn how to read what the body needs, read what the mind needs. It helps keep you centered inside. This tendency of the mind to go flowing out, running out, can get weaker and weaker. And then you go out when you need to go, but you come back in because you've got a good place to stay. It's like having a good house. You don't have to go running around outside all the time, exposed to the rain, exposed to the snow, exposed to the sun. You've got a good, safe place inside where it's comfortable. You're a lot safer that way. So trying to find, the, find this sense of well-being right here inside, through the way you breathe, through the way you think about the breath, that gives the mind a good foundation so that it doesn't become its own enemy, i.e. by creating a lot of suffering for itself. We all want happiness, but it's ironic that we keep doing things over and over again that are causing suffering. So we have to learn how to train the mind in new ways, look for happiness in new ways, find a sense of well-being in ways that enable you to pull back from your old habits and see them for what they are and realize that you don't have to go flowing along with them anymore. That's when the mind is really safe. <laughs>